Hey Google, how is the weather now? Currently in Waterford it's 11 degrees Celsius and clear. Today it'll be cloudy with a forecasted high of 18 and a low of 11. Hey Google, what is on my calendar? Today there's only one thing on your calendar. It starts at 8 a.m. and the title is Run. Hey Google, what is the temperature now? In Waterford it's currently 11 degrees Celsius. So what you now saw is just an extension to the uh, previous video that I made on uh, running your Google Assistant on Raspberry Pi uh, as a headless uh, unit. So just in case if you missed it, you can uh, click on the card and uh, take a look at it. So I have uh, managed to get the NeoPixels up and running using an Arduino for uh, triggering it. So there are various ways. Uh, so one way of doing it is by using an Arduino for uh, triggering the NeoPixels and the other way would be to directly run the NeoPixel using uh, Python codes. Uh, using an Arduino seemed much easier and uh, less prone to errors and so I have used that. I will leave the uh, download links for the circuit codes and everything in the description of this video. So over to the on-screen instructions for explanation on the uh, circuit and the code. Okay so here is the uh, circuit diagram and here is the code. Uh, so first up I have used a VMOS D1 Mini or uh, you can use a uh, Node MC or uh, any other uh, Arduino or microcontroller uh, which works on a 3.3 volt uh, logic. That is because uh, the Raspberry Pi, all the Raspberry Pi's uh, GPIO pins work on the 3.3 volt logic. So you need a microcontroller or an Arduino which uh, works on the 3.3 volt logic. All these three devices uh, share a common ground and then the VMOS D1 Mini is powered by the 5 volt uh, GPIO pin from the Raspberry Pi and uh, the NeoPixel is being powered by the 3.3 volt uh, pin from the VMOS D1 Mini. So even you can use the 3.3 uh, volt uh, GPIO from Raspberry Pi as well. And then uh, I have got the uh, two GPIO pins uh, 27 and 24 are connected to the uh, digital input and output of the VMOS D1 Mini. And so what the Arduino code basically does is it uh, keeps looking for the uh, logic levels of these two digital input output pins and uh, when it uh, finds one of these pins to be in a high position it uh, generates a particular pattern for the uh, NeoPixel and uh, this is the code uh, main.py which has been modified so first up when you call out the uh, wake word one GPIO pin goes high uh, it stays high until you give an input and when the Google Assistant responds back the previous GPIO pin turns low and uh, you have a new GPIO pin which turns high and this process goes on and until the conversation is completed. So for this to work uh, you might have to replace the uh, existing main.py. See if you followed my previous video on getting a uh, headless uh, Google Assistant started you need to replace the uh, main.py in the SRC folder with this uh, Python script or else you can also replace the uh, Python script existing in the uh, Google Assistant sample folder with this one renamed to underscore uh, underscore main underscore underscore dot uh, py. So I will attach the circuit diagram, I will attach the Python codes and I will attach the Arduino codes as well in the description of this video. So feel free to tinker with it and uh, if you come up with uh, something better please do share it in the comments section so that uh, anyone who visit this video will be benefited okay so thanks for watching take care and bye bye